<laughs> All right, what's up guys? So I got my buddy here, Chris, who uh, came down for about about 50 minutes away, an hour away. Um, and he just recently, you did a, the meet at the Zion Crossroads, right? Yes, sir. So he did the, he did the meet that, um, that I did, like my first competition, where I just did the deadlift. That was what he did. And he's going to do the American Open in December also. And if you notice, we're kind of the same, we're same height. So what are you, 5'8", five, 5'9"? Five, yeah, 5'8", five, 5'9", five, on a tall day. 5'9", okay. And uh, he's going to be in the same weight class, 165 pounds. Um, so we're going to be competing against each other. And he hit me up online, which I mentioned in another video, because his bench is a little bit better than mine. He hit a 303 pause bench yeah. in competition for your second attempt. So he missed his third attempt, which obviously would be more than that. Um, so and I've never even hit 300 tap and go. So he, he's got some, some tips to help me out on the bench press tonight. You know, it's all about like helping each other out. So uh, I, I can introduce, what do you, uh, what do you hit for your totals? Uh, for my totals, uh, it's my first one. I hit. How about how about just like what is what is uh like the most you've ever done on most a, ever in, done in three lifts on a three lifts I've done three eighty five on a squat I've done uh five ten on a deadlift and then uh, three fifteen on a bench. So. Okay, three fifteen. You done pause in the gym? Yeah. Okay. So strong guy. So it's gonna be cool. Uh, enjoy this video. It's gonna be some bench press. I think I get up to two hundred sixty pounds, and then from there we'll probably I mean probably maybe not much on camera, but we'll just kind of talk about some tips of what what I'm doing wrong, what I'm doing right. Um, and then just, you know, learn and help him out deadlift a little bit if we get around to it, if we have enough time. But uh, enjoy the video, guys. Okay, so this video is going to be completely different than I envisioned it, and I'll talk about why at the end of the video. Uh, stick around after these bench clips for some commentary of uh, just me and Chris talking. So. Chris came down here and, and I wanted to, to kind of showcase how everyone has their own strengths. I think I'm titling this video, So You'll Want to Be a Powerlifter, because I get questions all the time, but you know, this whole powerlifting thing, the, you know, getting strong thing has been really becoming the, uh, you know, the, 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 the trending topic, as it should, because I, it, it's just a great sport and it's great to really uh, boost your confidence and just boosting your strength will increase your, your bodybuilding goals and everything like that. Um, the bench clubs are going to be random. I think I'll get up to like 250 pounds for some pause reps. Chris, I believe, gets up to, to like 285. He doesn't, or 290. He doesn't do any uh, pause reps once he gets above like 250. But uh, I kind of wanted to showcase that, you know, me and Chris are the same strength, but notice how his bench is, you know, better than mine. And you're going to find out that he doesn't train specifically for powerlifting. He's just a guy who just happens to be strong. And that's the, everyone will ask me about deadlift tips and things like that. You really got to find out what your strong point is. Everyone usually has some sort of leverage advantage or, you know, they're going to kind of navigate to a, a lift that is their strongest, either the squat, the bench, or the deadlift, or if you're Matt Ogus, the overhead press, or all of the lifts, actually. Um, and, you know, and, and they'll put a lot of emphasis on that. So Chris is very, very strong at bench. I'm very strong at deadlift, so I put more emphasis on my deadlift than my other my bench because I know that I'm going to, you know, that's going to help me in the powerlifting world. Um... I do get so many questions asking about, you know, you know, when should I join a powerlifting meet? When should I do this? Honestly, just get into a powerlifting meet. It doesn't matter if you go in there and place last. It doesn't matter if you go in there and miss on all three of your lifts. It's an experience, guys. Um, I'm so excited to take y'all along with me on the uh, the, the meet that I'm going to do in a couple of months, where Chris is going to be competing, uh, you know, right alongside me in the exact same weight class. Um, but as long as you have the drive, as long as you have the dedication to stick on a program and, you know, you know, you almost want to be respectful of the sport, just like, uh, you know, if you did a bodybuilding show, you want to actually prep for it. So the powerlifting meet, prep for the powerlifting meet. Don't just randomly be like, oh, there's a meet tomorrow. I've never tried to strength train in my life. I'm going to do a powerlifting meet. I w wouldn't really suggest that. What I honestly would do is get on a powerlifting program for at least like eight to 10 weeks, you know? Get, get acclimated to it. Really, you could, I guess you could do it in four to six weeks, but get on something that is a lower rep scheme, lower, uh, you know, a, a percentage-based program that is going to be linear and it is going to allow you to make strength gains. But uh, as you're going to see in these videos, you know, you know, we all have our own strengths. I am not, I'm not, I never pride myself on my pressing, but I also don't consider myself a power lifter. You guys may think that I'm all about power lifting, but I still am not like, I'm a power lifter. I just, happen to do powerlifting meets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again my opinion if you want to do a powerlifting meet just do it. Find a local meet go to a powerliftingwatch.com I believe the website is and uh, you know join up 
this workout, uh, th th this video is more just to be kind of a rambling topic talking about you know how you get into powerlifting um, or how you know me, me and Chris kind of decided to do powerlifting and our thoughts on it. So hope you enjoyed this. Basically, we did some bench press, followed along with some just some tricep work, lockout work uh, to aid in the bench press. So please hit the like up button. I want to thank Chris for coming down. Hope you all enjoy the video once again and stick around for this final clip. Thank you all so much. Got some great videos coming soon. All right, guys, so that's the video. Uh, I want to appreciate you for watching. Um, I want to thank my buddy for coming down and uh, training. Now, something that I found interesting, okay, when I when he first reached out to me, I, I thought that it was completely different. I, I expected you to be like a seasoned power lifter who was like a, a, like a very good, uh, you know, really good at bench. And uh, But honestly, you, you're exactly like what I started out as. Um, you know, I always consider myself to be not a power lifter who does YouTube, but a YouTuber does powerlifting. Um, I, I was I was always like, you know, smaller and I, as I got stronger, you just enjoyed training for strength, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you recently just started doing this actual power lifting. The power lifting that he did recently, uh, you said, how many weeks did you train for that? Uh, probably like eight or nine, like right so, around there. So before eight or nine weeks, you yeah. just you just lifted and you happen to be like strong, right? Yeah, yeah, I, just, I mean, I pretty much have just been working out because it's fun for me. And yeah, exactly. uh, this is like the first time I've like done like a training program. So, so what, what made you get, like what made you decide to do powerlifting me? Or like, you know, I mean, I, I, I still, you probably don't consider yourself a powerlifter, right? No, I mean, honestly, I like, I like all aspects of fitness, whether it's sports or, you know, even like, I mean, not necessarily, I'm not gonna say CrossFit, but like I enjoy like, like pull-ups and like all kinds of muscle-ups, like I love, gymnastic kind of stuff like anything really it's like the whole aspect so you just kind of were like you know i'm i like lifting I like everything about it i like you know looking good getting big getting bigger just, getting the just, respect getting just the pushing confidence. myself yeah yeah and then you got stronger and then you decided to powerlift me and that's exactly what i did that's what's so interesting about uh you know like powerlifting or any like these sports in general is you know everyone comes from like, a different background not everyone's like goes in these powerlifting meets is someone who has like uh john who i've done videos with will be like you know there's on season off season it's just we like training for strength and we like uh you know being strong and yeah, we just, you know, these meets come up and you're like, I want to test my strength in a, in a competition aspect. But I mean, I, would you say that now after you do this meet that, you, you know, you're going to hit every single meet that comes up or it's just like, you know, every now and then you're going to do a meet and it's, it's kind of fun? Uh, it depends on how well I do. I really, really want to just like place first in one. Like that's, that's <laughs> my main goal. But <laughs> I, I mean, honestly, like I just want to get strong in the gym, like push through barriers. That's like my big thing. Just yeah. Be, like, just being as strong as I can be and uh, doing as well as I can in power comps. I don't really know. I know I have the one in December coming up, but uh, other than we that. We have the one in December. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, uh, other than that, I don't have like a plan. Yeah, so I mean, that, that, that's the you know the whole the point is like, you know, not everyone who does powerlifting, you don't have to be like uh, a, an aspiring powerlifter. You can just be someone who enjoys uh, pushing themselves in the gym. And if a meet comes up and you want to, you know, be active in the, I guess, the, you know, the community of powerlifting, and get in and test your strength in front of people. And I tell you guys what I was even telling him um, at a competition is I, I think just even being at a competition probably adds anywhere from five to 20 pounds on your list, seriously, because you get so in the zone, especially when I go up to lift, like nothing else in the world is like going on. Like so much stuff can be going on in the outside and all I care about is when my name is called to go up to the bar and rip it off the ground or squat it or whatever. So um, I appreciate you coming down, dude. And uh, you know, I'll see you in December. Yeah. And uh, it should be good. It should be a little competition. And you know, we don't even know. There's probably be, there's probably be someone who's gonna come in and whoop both of our asses. So <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, it'll be cool. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, thumbs it up if you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Boom.